give me five things you learned about women mm. from being an adult film star. First of all, they're a lot kinkier and perverted, more perverted than the average guy would think. Tell me more about that. Like female sexual fantasies can be very dark. <laughs> yeah. Yo, guys just be wanting a girl who's hot. Right, girls be one of the guys who's like, maybe he's a, maybe he might be a serial killer or like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> psycho shit. Yeah, there's a lot of that shit going on. Yeah. They'll get off to things that are a bit more like physically dominant. Like you talked about like the choke and stuff before, mm -hmm. like anything down that path tends to be a lot more common than guys would think. Mm -hmm. Well, girls will really get off on that. The other thing I'd, I'd say that women's bodies are very, very similar. Like across, like the same buttons you can push on pretty much any girl like once you once you know what mm. buttons to push yeah like some women like might have more sensitive nipples than other women some women might have a like they get off from clitoral stimulation versus penetration okay there's minor differences like that but most women tend to enjoy very similar things so like most women if you can pull a girl's hair correctly they enjoy it mm -hmm. right most girls like a bit of spanking here and there mm -hmm. most girls like having like the 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 neck or like traps kind of like nibbled on and kissed mm -hmm. like there's all these different erogenous zones that are basically you know unilateral across the board right. this is probably some minor variations some 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 uh, outliers yeah there's right. a couple of outliers here and there but for the most part they all the buttons are still there would you say okay now listen i have not been with as many women as you but who has right you think it's to make a woman orgasm it's the same for every woman no not the same for every woman that's what i'm saying but in my experience i always thought it's so funny you know because girls will ask the guy like well how was it you know but guys would just be like yo you did it you know what i'm saying like we, <laughs> we don't give a fuck <laughs> we're not we're not judging her performance right maybe you are right because you're you're more of a connoisseur right you know <laughs> i get that a lot actually i get women who think i'm gonna judge their sexual performance yeah and I'm like, honey, no, no, nah, man, no, I'm, 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 I'm gonna enjoy this. It's like you no, don't. It's like some pizza is better than others, but yeah. you don't get bad pizza. I ain't sitting there, yeah, exactly. Yeah, sitting there it, like, <laughs> oh, I've, eat, I've had like, I've eaten at a five star restaurant. I'm still gonna enjoy Domino's. Yeah, yeah, but to make one of them orgasms, like every vagina is, it's like a combination lock, and you gotta fucking crack the code, <laughs> like a right? Safe, yeah. yeah, and then once you crack the code, once you learn how to crack the code for that lock, okay, you can then you can crack that shit at will, right? Yeah. But it's like, you fucking gotta figure that shit out. It's like a fucking bomb is about to defuse, man. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have a little bit of time to figure shit out, man. <laughs> And that's kind of what I'm talking about with all these different buttons. Like they don't necessarily, they won't necessarily cause an orgasm, but they'll build up yeah like it's it's like a temperature gauge right think of it all these little different things you can push like they're gonna raise the temperature a little bit I get and you're trying to get to boiling point like boiling point is like whatever particular angle she needs whatever particular uh, simulation she needs and she's gonna get off but all these other little things just build up they're all foreplay right they just build up that temperature gauge so we're, we're closer to boiling so point. you like you're so skilled so well versed that you can crack the code relatively quick with it yeah it's it, pattern recognition yeah once you've seen it you, you again and again and again you're yeah. like oh this girl like this girl's gonna get off from like cowgirl or this girl's gonna get off from like we oh, you can all, and you can tell like earlier it doesn't take long uh once you start to read a, a woman's body language right? i remember like in my 20s man when i was like young you know like i was like I feel like Mission Impossible trying to defuse a bomb. Like I, I got, I got to figure this out, man. I got a reputation to uphold. <laughs> sometimes you figure it out, sometimes you don't. Yeah. Like a beautiful woman, basically every woman are insecure in their body and some for some mm. reason. Guys might think like, oh, she, she's a she's a ten or whatever. Mm -hmm. She's probably more insecure about her body than the than like the six. Beautiful women are really there's something insecure. And so the six has just been they said fuck it long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> they still they, got insecurities. They said, you know what? I'm gonna focus on my personality. <laughs> they, they, they definitely have insecurity still, but like mm -hmm. guys might think that like a really beautiful woman is just this like total narcissist or she's got like supreme self-confidence is definitely not the case like mm. really beautiful women do have like insecurities about their body especially like the more they try to perfect their beauty they tend to have like there's something mm. that like they don't like the way their nose is shaped like some michael jackson shit some weird yeah. little thing like that it's very consistent another thing i like most girls one. don't get one surgery no, no. <laughs> most girls don't they, get they one got surgery. one they'll get two and three like, yeah, they'll, yeah. It's no, no, like no, a, now it's a project it's a rabbit hole yeah. it's a fucking project yeah this is gonna keep happening I think you know, I think BBLs are the I think that's the dumbest thing I will be. Listen, you you said the the words expressed by Sterling Cooper <laughs> are not reflective of Brandon Carter or the Victory <laughs> Unit podcast. <laughs> All right, <laughs> if you want to suck some fat out of some other part of your body and put it in that ass, we here at the Victory 
Talk Podcast, we support your decision. You know what I'm saying? We support your decision and we encourage you. All I'm, okay, all I'm saying is a BBL on a woman looks <laughs> looks like a toupee on a dude. It's obvious. We all know it's fake, mm. right? And it's dangerous. It depends on the ones, man. I've like I've been I've been I've been fooled before. I'd much rather a girl like just hit the squat rack. What'd you say? I'd rather her hit the squat rack. Yeah, build build it up, even if it's not as gigantic mm. and cartoonish. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I do I do like it, but it's just it's just I can tell it's ridiculous. Well, that's because you're. A European descent. You may you don't have the same pr- 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 proclivities. Yeah, you don't have the same proclivities. I don't know. Bro. My, my dick's black on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Guys would be surprised at how bad the average porn chick is at a blowjob. Really, it's a show job. It's all mm. for the camera. It's all to it's all to look good. A lot of these really like hyper aggressive like yeah suck fests or whatever do not feel as good as you would think they would feel uh, yeah. it's very very fucking rare like there's there's literally one girl and i've actually asked a bunch of other male porn stars this like who's the best there's mm-hmm. one chick and, and this is actually hand job specifically there's one girl in all of porn who's like incredible at hand jobs and everyone else is shit at her. who's that i don't want to give I don't oh why well, 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 away man you're gonna, you're gonna add her to your, to your spread no, i'm not gonna, gonna add keep, her because you're, like, you're, you're, you're likely to show up and we're talking about for the audience i'll tell i'll tell you but i i legit want them to know like, <laughs> like i'm being for real i want them to know <laughs> who gives a good blowjob in the adult film uh, angela white Angela White. Angela White. I, yeah. I don't know who Angela she White. is, but yeah, I'm saying. Multi award winning. She's Australian too, actually. Uh oh. Good yeah. day. She's like the goat. She's like one of the. She's the goat. The goat. She's the goat. She's like, she's like LeBron James. Y- yeah. She's like Michael Jordan and shit. Yeah. That's super accurate. Yeah. <laughs> she's the Michael Jordan of taking dick. Women just need to feel beautiful. Women will tie up a lot of their, like, their sexual self esteem and their ego around, like, their ability to get a guy off. Mmm. Like if you if a woman can't get her man off, mm. she starts to feel really like insecure. Really deep down inside. If she can't if she can't make him finish, she's thinking like, oh, what what's wrong with me? He doesn't find me attractive. Am I ugly now? Like all kinds of th- shit like this mm. will hundred percent run through her head. There's a there's a deep insecurity there. How'd you figure that out? If you if I was with like a client, they would insist insist that I finish. Insist really? Like I, I, I didn't carry the way. I'm like, like I'm here to, you know, wine and dine you. Money. I'll, I'll, I'll do my thing. I'll last as long as you need me to last. Like get you mm-hmm. off. Cool. But they would insist that I finish. Ah, uh, yeah. all right. Yeah, very much, very much tied into that. Was, was that surprising to you when you? That was actually that? quite surprising. Yeah. That was that was one of the. I learned that kind of early on, but that was quite surprising.